Hi guys, welcome to Game Talk, Ajax VVV Venlo 3-1. Thomas, all the way from Poland, watching the game. Did you enjoy the game? Actually, a bit more than one might think, because uh, we, we've seen a nice goal uh, from Ranch. That was a some quite some piece of football, I guess. Uh, we got some kudos moments. Uh, we buy uh, if uh, Ranch is ready for the left back position next, next season, I guess. So yeah, uh, it was a nice training game, uh, but still there were some parts that you could uh, take uh, joy from. So overall, considering the circumstances, I'm quite happy. The first 10-15 minutes, it looked as if uh, we might have, you know, uh, repeated the, the result uh, from the first round. Uh, but you know, Venlo are nice guys. They gave us a guard of honor, uh, so they were able to do it. It is possible to do it, not like some other teams, not to be called by their names. Uh, so yeah, overall, I'm quite happy. So they gave us a guard of honor. They also brought some pies to us. Well, not to us, but to uh, to Aya. <laughs> That's nice of yeah. them. It's funny though, you know. I mean, FFV battling for relegation. They they did, you know, uh, do their um, or give the guard of honor. Brought pies. Mm -hmm showed a little bit of sportsmanship. I'm not going to go there again, but we didn't see anything from Feyenoord. And I know it's the it's the rivalry and everything like that. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, you see a clear difference, you know? Yeah, you know, it's hard to imagine if that would happen, but if it was the other way around, I, I know that that's total science fiction without any science. Uh, still, uh, if we were uh, in the same situation, I would expect our guys to, to give them the, the God of Honor. Right? I, I would think so as well, especially mm -hmm. with the management that we have right now and the yeah. class that we have as, as a club in general. All right, let's move on. <laughs> uh, look, uh, as you said, it's difficult, you know. I mean, the circumstances are, are different. Uh, we're already champions. They actually had to fight. It was, they have two games and mm -hmm. they had to win this game also now that we look back on it because they relegated. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Ten Hag rotated a couple of players. Let's talk about the new players that we saw today. Just because we cannot be critical about the whole team performance, but let's see mm -hmm. if you have some opinions about the, uh, the players that we saw today that usually don't play for Ajax mm -hmm. uh, on a regular basis. So, your thoughts. Okay. Uh, overall, I would say that uh, Ten Hag brought in the perfect balance of, uh, of uh, rotation uh, because the core of the team uh, was left, um, you know, the one we always see. And so that it wasn't a, you know, a, an alien body, uh, something that we would never see again. So you, we could see if Idrissi, for example, could walk out uh, in, uh, um, in an Ajax team, because it was an Ajax team, a bit rotated, but still uh, a first team, let's say, uh, something like that. And um, when it comes to Idrissi, uh, I would start with him. Uh, I guess uh, it was encouraging to see him, you know, uh, to see some desire in his, uh, in his football. Uh, he gave one wonderful pass uh, for you know the, in the first half the, the, the one going uh, going up. Um, yeah, the one, his... class, the one to class. Yes, yes, yes. That was some. That was really nice. That was something I would expect from him. Um, second half, hmm, not that great, but overall that was a decent a decent performance. Uh, he he proved us that uh, he could be of uh, of use. Well, this season it's no use to be of use <laughs> anymore. But so, uh... okay, but listen, just let me ask you a question then. Mm -hmm. um, he was the basically backup because Promes went to Russia. Mm. So, um, what would you do as Ajax? Would you consider him, or would you say, no, not good enough? We're going. I mean, there are rumors, of course, that we might be getting Kamaldin Sulemana. Mm -hmm. So, if we get him, then what? What do you think? There is still place for Idrissi, or do you think no? It's it's just not going to work. Uh, regardless, if we get the guy from the from the Danish leagues, no disrespect, I, I just can't remember the name. Yes. Um, so regardless of that, I wouldn't uh, keep hold of it, Risi, because I, I think he's good enough, but he's not that good to, to justify his wages. You know, I, I think we can uh, spend the money, uh, spend the money better. Um, he didn't get as many chances as, as he should have, uh, I guess. But still, you know, there were some rumors about his um, attitude and so on. Well, I'm just happy that uh, we did something that um, Azat might feel salty about because they sold him abroad just for him not to play for us, and we still got him. But other than that, mm, yeah, he did he did okay, but I wouldn't keep off, uh, keep hold of him. All right, moving on to the other players, which would uh, which players would you want to highlight? 
Okay, so Kudus uh, played second consecutive game. Well, he he started from the bench uh, in the Classica. Still, that was uh, he's another good game, at least good, really good, uh, and um, that's very encouraging because you know uh, at, the, at the at the beginning of the year he he was back from the from the injury, and I thought you know it's okay, he needs some time and so on and so on, but it dragged on a bit worryingly uh, long, and now yeah that was true kudos today. Uh, and uh, that's 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 perfect. That's uh, that's great to see. Uh, it's not uh, like with Bande or with um, Marine that we we had to wait for, God knows what. Yeah, uh, and, and here you can't compare them to Kudus. Yeah, obviously, obviously. But uh, I mean that um, you know we got proof that uh, it was worth to wait, and uh, he's going to be crucial next season, I'm sure. Uh, about that, uh, and also we we got a uh, you know again a pretty good uh, answer where she, where she, where he should play because uh, his first his you know his uh, pre injury uh, spell yeah he played mostly at ten so for some reason then Hark considered him I assure you you remember to be a possible left back pos- uh, option yeah let's forget about it <laughs> uh, uh, but now yeah he's so resistant to to, to pressure uh he he's so so good at uh, keeping up the ball holding holding it i guess number 8 is is his you know his perfect match and uh it showed today uh, very very good game from him and i also like uh, his his pace and his uh, work rate yeah uh, he's not only great with the ball but um, he he works in the defense as well so yeah uh it's a shame he didn't get more minutes throughout the season because of the injury. But other than that, what a signing. Yeah? A yeah. Great player, yeah. and I'm so happy we have him. Uh, next, we have a Kellen Kamp, who, again, well, I guess we can't blame him for anything. But again, he didn't show anything that would prevent him from going going out. Uh, not being well, part of us. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's an interesting point. Look, um, again, we cannot judge a player just by one game. Mm-hmm. So we have to be honest about that. But at the same time, uh, this week, um, we read this article or this news. It was by Ajax Showtime, by the way. They said that Ajax is willing to extend his contract, uh, which mm-hmm. will expire next year. Um, what do you think of that? Uh, do you understand uh, Ajax maybe want to extend the contract of uh, Ekron Kamp? Because, look, it's a young player, and he barely played this season. I mean, is it something that would add value to our team? Well... I do not understand that. However, I am humble enough to admit that I believe that our board knows better than me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, well, he's of some, for sure. There's a reason why uh, there is interest from Twente, for example, to loan him. Uh, so I guess extending his, his contract and hoping he will develop a bit more, uh, you know, it, 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 it might mean we would be able to cash in for him in the future. So sure, well, that's not, not a huge risk to extend his deal. So I'm perfectly fine with that. I do not totally understand it, but you know, it's I won't be upset about it. Right. Yeah, I, I will put my trust uh, in, in the board to make that decision. All right. So I want to highlight two more players. Let's talk mm-hmm. about Kurs, who played in the center role uh, at the back together with Martinez. What do mm-hmm. you think of his performance today? And I also want to touch upon our striker, Haller. It's mm-hmm. an ongoing, it's actually a recurring theme, but let's mm-hmm. talk about Skurs first. Yeah, for, it's a recurring th- uh, theme for a reason. Well, so, uh, well I might uh, surprise uh, some of you guys, but I guess played better game than Rizandro. You'll see that in my um, grades. Um, because he made less mistakes, which is something I wouldn't associate pair with. <laughs> uh, so that's what, that was a good, uh, a nice uh, surprise from me. You know there was this um, uh, this counter uh, from uh, from Venlo in the in the second uh, part. It ended up as, a, as an offside, but he kept up with. Uh, he was able to to, to cancel the Giacomis um, right uh, attack. Yeah. His his passing wasn't as good as as I'm used to because that's a very underrated part of his play, I, I believe. Uh, but still, he he played a decent game, and uh, if. Well, I assume that uh, Timber is our number one choice there. But if you see uh, Schurz uh, play like that, I'm perfectly fine with him uh, as uh, as cover uh, and a player that will uh, play uh, frequently. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, he's, he's a, he is of Ajax level, not of being 
star player at Ajax. But uh, other than that, I'm perfectly fine with that. And uh, I always defended him. Uh, he obviously makes uh, made some uh, costly mistakes, not today. But other than that, he is of Ajax quality. He has the you know uh, the drive to go forward. Uh, he he likes to shoot, uh, and uh, he he basically is quite technical uh, with, with about his feet. So I would say he's a perfectly Ajax matched guy. Good. Um, so let's talk about Haller for a minute. What mm-hmm. did you think of his performance today? He did score though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, he he he's called a perfectly big guy uh, goal. Yeah, he he showed up there and told the, the defenders, you know what, you you're too small. What can you do? And and he did score the goal. So kudos for that. Uh, but other than that, um, I always defend Ale, almost always. And this game, I wouldn't do that. Uh, to be honest, I really just didn't like his uh, defensive contribution uh, today. He was uh, in the back a lot. But most, of, but most of his tackles ended up with uh, the opponent getting the ball after all. Uh, so uh, he was working in the back, but doing this in a stupid manner. So I'd rather have him stay uh, up front and not to, you know, uh, disrupt our defenders. Uh, lots of uh, bad passes uh, and so on. It wasn't, it wasn't a terrible game for him. Um, he did have you some... Know, you know what it hmm? is? You know, I mean, you know what I always hmm? think about Holler and I still believe that we haven't seen the best part of Haller. I hope this will come uh, eventually mm-hmm. next season. But he does work hard. He does try. But it just doesn't go his way. Most of the things mm-hmm. he does doesn't go his way. It looks a little bit clumsy at times. Yeah, it does. Uh, also, he might need some, uh, you know, well, Ten Hag's Ajax is uh, great physically. Yeah, it's, it's no, uh, it's no uh, surprise. It's no mystery. Maybe he needs, uh, you know, uh, a preseason with us, uh, just so so that he becomes a bit faster. Because you can see he wants to. He's not a lazy player, but he's just sometimes not fast enough uh, in in the pressing. Uh, so that might help. Uh, it, it sure it surely won't won't hurt him. Uh, so yeah, I obviously see him uh, as our number one striker next, next season. Not only because he cost. A lot of money, but um, he fits us. He's a technically gifted player, a good target man, um, capable of scoring goals. Yeah, what else can you can you can you ask for? Especially, well, the, uh, yeah. The thing is, the thing is, I was watching the game uh, also with the boys, and um, mm-hmm. I, I noticed that um, Ten Hag is trying to really boost his confidence. He's mm-hmm. one of the players that still uh, gets a lot of playing time at this part of the of the season even though we're not playing for anything at, at this point. But he, he basically substituted a lot of players, but Haller was the one that he kept until the end. So he's really trying to give him everything he can in terms of playing time, et cetera, et cetera, to get his confidence back. Yeah, and rightfully so. Uh, I guess we, he has so much more in him than we, than we already saw. So uh, in that regard, uh, it's, a good, it's a good idea. And also... Some might say, uh, why Wrench uh, played? He played so much this season. And uh, why did he bench Tadic uh, and, and allow uh, Wrench to play? I don't say that Tadic should play left back, obviously, but you know where I'm in getting general. Yeah, yeah, in general. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Wrench is really, uh, really young. He needs to develop. Tadic doesn't need to develop at all. Yeah, he's, he's, he's at his best right now. He won't get better, unfortunately, I guess. Um, Never so, seen yeah. Him. Never seen Three? Him. Never seen yeah, oh, yeah, that, that's what Don't, okay. don't jinx it, Thomas. Don't jinx it. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, I guess that uh, letting um, Wrench play, yeah, good decision. He needs he needs development uh, in um, in match situations, even if if those are games like that. Look, I, I want to touch upon two players. Uh, one of the players you told me before we started that you want to talk about him. But before mm-hmm. we go there, uh, I want to talk about the player basically that got a chance again uh, to substitute class and come in. He didn't have a lot of uh, playing time this season. A lot of Ajax fans, a lot of people were anticipating him to get a little bit more minutes this season. Um, so Taylor got a chance. He came in just before halftime. But unfortunately, in, this, in the second half, I mean, I don't know if it's eagerness. I don't know if he wants to show a little bit too much. Um, I think it was an unfortunate incident. But I don't think we can argue whether it's a red card, yes or no. Do you agree? Obvious red card. Uh, it's it's just bad luck, shame, but it happens. So we shouldn't be too hard on on Taylor. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame because uh, before that uh, unfortunate tackle, he did really good. 
uh, he, he had some moments, he, he had some wow moments. Yeah, so that's always something we expect from uh, from the youngsters. Well, honestly, I don't watch Young Ajax that much. So I'm not that familiar um, myself uh, watching him there. So I only have, you know, the, the reports that, wow, that's the guy to watch and so on. Uh, yeah, but that was the first time he, he really impressed me in the first team. That was 10 minutes, but still. Uh, so it's a shame. Uh, it's a shame it, it ended that way, but... Uh, Today, we shouldn't be I worried about it, right? We shouldn't be too yeah. worried. I mean, he will yeah, get yeah, that, that, that's what I'm getting to. Uh, I could see that for the first time, I could see he has his place in the first team. So actually getting rid of a Kellen Camp and giving more time to Taylor, even though they're quite a bit different, yeah, perfectly fine with me. All right. You wanted to touch upon Neres. Yeah, I wanted to because uh, we all love David, and he he played already uh, played way more games for, in our shirt than we than anyone would have expected when when we got him um, the first time. Um, but I was wondering, isn't it the time to cash in uh, to, to to sell him? Because I guess no one can argue uh, with the fact that uh, Anthony is is a better player uh, than uh, than Neres. Uh, well, it's it's plain to see uh, that um, that the younger one uh, has has bigger talent and so on and so on. Um, Neres, what else can he give us? Uh, I guess that uh, he won't get the other the wing uh, the other wing to play because of Tadic. Uh, he will be a rotation player, and sooner or later he'll get uh, frustrated. And uh, that's a good moment to to cash in to to get some money. Uh, to avoid selling some other important players by getting that money, yeah. This is we have to sell sell for someone big, and I guess we would have to. Um, then he's the first that comes to my mind that will bring in the big bucks, and um, will not hurt the team that much uh, right. by, by getting rid of. So yeah, if you ask me, if there's one uh, big player we if we have to sell, that's going to be Neres. Uh, especially after his injury, he got a bit better, but that's still not his very best. And I don't think we we saw his very best this season. And um, he might need a new challenge as well. So that would be the perfect uh, moment to uh, to thank him for all he gave us uh, and say goodbye and and uh, do this uh, on good terms. Interesting point. I want also the viewers to respond to this uh, and tell us what they think about Neres, whether they agree with you, yes or no. So please drop a comment. Let us know what you think of the Neres case. Any final thoughts from you about the game? Uh, man of the match, maybe, you want to share with us? Uh, yeah, I'd say that was Wrench. Uh, terrific uh, first half uh, performance. Uh, the second one, he didn't have to do much more. Uh, and it was, it was a weird game after the break. Uh, yeah, if uh, if uh, if we sell Nico, or actually when we sell Nico, um, there is no need to spend big for Vindal, for example. It would be nice, but French is more than good enough uh, to fill in that position, uh, and that's a very reassuring thing. Uh, so that's that's the thing. And I guess I forgot to give you um, Ten Hag's uh, note. I would give him eight actually, because that was the perfect. Uh, okay, you rated him as an eight. Okay. Good. Yeah, uh, that was he fielded the perfect eleven, I guess. The the right balance of of players that didn't play that much uh, and that they played in an Ajax team, like I said, yeah. So that uh, could play not with a, a bunch of random players with all, with all the respect, but with a first team, uh, with first proper team, just with a couple of changes. So that was a very good balance. Also, we said that uh, fielding Ale was reasonable uh, for the reasons already mentioned. So yeah, uh, when it comes to Ten Hag. Eight and he didn't have to do much during the game at, at all, to be honest. So yeah, I'm perfectly fine with his uh, with his game today. Good. So we scored three goals today. That means that we up 99 goals in the Eredivisie this season. We have one mm -hmm. more game to go against Vitesse. Will we reach the 100? And does it matter to you? Well, we will, and it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> well, you know, you can you can always ask, uh, does the bear pee in the woods? And if we will uh, reach 100 goals, that's the same answer. So I'm sure we will. Uh, we will score against them. Mm, I'm not sure if we're going to win or not. Uh, it doesn't matter that much at that point. 
Hmm, but it will be an interesting game. Uh, I'm really impressed by Vitesse this season. Uh, not only uh, the results, but the style they they, they played. They caused us, they caused us uh, a lot of trouble uh, this season, especially at, uh, with the home game. Yeah. So, well, I'm not. A, I don't really like them, but I really hope uh, that they will be able to somehow uh, keep up next season. They're going to keep hold of their manager, so who knows. Yeah, although their performance have dropped recently, so let's yeah, hope they keep it like that on Sunday as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fingers crossed. Guys, I can feel it, man. I can. You want to subscribe.